Hey guys, welcome to my new video. My hair is a mess because lately I've just been driving with the, the windows down in my car. So I also need to dye it because it's, yeah, <laughs> I need to dye it, but also like dye it. Anyway, you can see I've been outside a lot more lately because I'm kind of like tan. My chest is like always red. I'm also breaking out really bad, and I think it has to do with the mask or something, maybe. I don't know. Also, I don't know why my camera, my phone camera, is, like, zoomed in. But I tried to zoom out, and it won't, so go figure. Um, But anyway, not yesterday. The day before that, I think. I'm so tired. Um, I went to the doctor, and I got blood work done. Um, right there. Yeah, see? Because I'm diabetic. And so, I gained 10 pounds, which is horrible, in three months, or three and a half months. And was expecting my A1C to be super high. Um, last time I got blood work done, it was at 9, which is horrible. Um, because I was not taking my medicine like I was supposed to. And, um, so yeah, so it was high and I expected it not to be high because I wasn't eating either, but it was high nine. Um, so this time when I went to the doctor, um, I figured it would be super high because I haven't really been eating that well. Also been like consuming like 20,000 coffees a day. Uh, which is so bad, and I'm cutting back, um, but, oh, and also I gained the weight, so that wasn't a good thing, but I was taking my medicine every day, uh, the medicine I'm on is called metformin, and I wasn't actually taking it the way I was supposed to, because she wanted me to take it twice a day, and I wasn't, I was only taking it once a day. Because if anybody who has diabetes and has been on metformin knows, it makes you go poop a lot. It really messes up your stomach. So, yeah. I was only taking it once a day and I figured it, my A1C was going to be super high. So, I went to the doctor, got blood work, left, got me a coffee, went back because my doctor's appointment was at 1. So, and I got up early to go get blood work done. So... I went to my appointment and um, basically it was a follow-up because I had to go to the hospital because my back was hurting really bad after I pressure washed outside. Um, so it was really bad. I could barely walk. Went to the hospital <laughs> and they had me follow up with my doctor. So I figured, yay. Um... So when I went, I told her how, like, my A1C was probably going to be high, and I gained 10 pounds, and basically she said that if my A1C comes back higher, or around 9 again, that she would have to put me on insulin, and I told her I just couldn't stab myself with a needle or whatever. Molly, are you going to do it for me, Mama? You going to do it? You going to give me medicine? Oh, I love her. Um, and she said, well, if there's really no other option that, like, I mean, there would be no other option, I guess. So I explained to her how I wasn't taking all the medicine. I was supposed to be taking Genuvia and Metformin. But when Dixie wasn't giving me my um, Genuvia, for some reason, they wouldn't give me my Genuvia. So... She goes, okay, well, in that case, she um, asked me to change, which I had to change an in insurance, so it didn't matter anyway. Um, but anyway, I got all my medicine now, and I didn't get my results back from my blood work until yesterday. And I, basically, she had told me, I told her I would be under this certain weight, which I may say my weight now. Well, not now, but in another video, um, under a certain weight, and then she goes, I also want your A1C to be at 7 or under, 
and then we like you know fist pumped and I was like I will do that and um so I got my results yesterday and my A1C was at 6.7 I think or 5 I don't know but it was under 7, 7 and I was so shocked and so happy that my A1C had dropped and it's probably because again I dropped a lot of weight um so yeah I was excited about that but she told me not to take the job that I was going to take because I, it's complicated, but essentially it was like a sitting down all day job and I have the opportunity and means right now to not have to work. I wanted the job so bad. I really wanted to work. Um, plus it was really good money. So, but she told me, she suggests that I don't take the job and to focus on getting right and my dad, everyone in my life has, has said the same exact thing. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a part-time job at the same time of like focusing on my health. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you guys can come along with me on this journey. Um, and we're actually turning that room, which used to be Flora's playroom, into like a little gym thing. I already have a treadmill. It's just in the garage blocked by Ian's truck. And yeah, so I do plan on making more content now. Um, except for the fact that like Ian's going to be home for like nine days coming up, which is not going to be fun for me <laughs> as you know, our situation is still, like, we're still not together, you know, and stuff like that, so, we're just taking it day by day, where's my cat, I don't know where she's at, there she is, oh, that thing right there is a vac, not that thing, I can't, okay, there, that's a vacuum cleaner, one of those Roomba things, that literally just vacuums the floor. And Ian has that thing going off all day. Like, I'm shocked it's not moving right now as we speak. So, yeah. Um, my house is a little mess, but it's okay. Um, I wanted to show you guys. Oh, I also took the pictures off the wall. I didn't show this yet, but I have a little reborn baby in here. She costs so much money, but if you guys would like, I could do, like, a whole video on her and everything if you want, so, yeah. Also, Molly's cat tree, where is it? Right there. It broke. I don't know what, like, I don't know what she did with it, but, yeah, she broke it. Um, I'm going to show you guys some stuff real quick. <laughs> I miss her. I miss her so freaking much. But anyway, this used to be Flora's playroom. <laughs> now it's turning into a Molly's room. We bought that expensive cat litter robot. Litter robot is what it's called. It cleans itself and everything. But she refuses to use that. So, and it costs like 600 something dollars. And that's her new cat tree that Ian bought her. So, yeah. And then this is a mess back here. There's a table. Those are Ian's sodas that he bought when he was here for like a day. And then this is a bed frame. And then those are boxes from all the stuff that we've been getting. So, yep. I don't know. You could see the floor. The Roomba's been cleaning in here. But, anyway, yeah. That's my life right now. I really wish my face would clear up some. It looks so bad. Mm. If I just stop touching it, maybe it'll stop. But, um, yeah. Wow, I am so tan. That's crazy. <coughs> but anyway, um, I can, I'm going to start making, like, rest a recipe cooking videos, um, and then take you guys on, like, um, little exploring things, like, 
zoo. I can go to the zoo. Um, I do have a gym membership and my friend who likes to go to the gym, um, probably gonna start going with them because I initially bought it for me and Laura, but Laura left and, uh, I also have the zoo pass in mine and Laura's name, but that was pointless, so. But anyway, I don't know what else there is to really update you guys. Yesterday, I made some bomb carrots and broccoli, like garlic carrots and broccoli. It was so good, and I ate it with some, like, fish, but yeah, so. Also, life kits, life is tough is it tough yeah tough my darling but so are you so i don't even know what my own tattoo says that's pretty bad but i don't know um if you guys are it made it this far thank you for watching and i will see you guys soon because i'm gonna start making more videos since I have a lot of time on my hands now, and I'm literally in this house alone, other than Molly, and it's crazy. But, uh, starting Monday, I'm gonna have a new schedule for myself, waking up in the morning, going for a walk, and drinking plenty of water, which I actually have a lot of water. Um, but yeah, so I love you guys. And sorry I don't look in the camera, I always forget to do that. But again, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not a YouTuber. Um, but yeah. I love you guys. And I will see you soon in my next video.